J Spot. What's up, there now? Hey, everybody! Welcome to Live at the J Spot, where we bring you a dose of hilarious skits, comedians, parody songs, murder hits, and much, much more. All coming from J Anthony Brown and the J Spot Comedy Club. And we're located right near LAX Airport at 5581 West Manchester Boulevard. So, hey, if you're in town, stop on by and see us. I'm your host, APT. Let's get this show started, shall we? Now, this first comedian is bringing the fun, fun, funny. Oh, man, he's so funny. He's the one and only Boogity B. Ow! Check him out. I'm, I'm from New Orleans, like I say. Um, I'm going to tell y'all this right away. Just because I'm from New Orleans don't mean after the show you got to come up to me and try to relate some goddamn place. So you try to relate something to New Orleans. Don't, don't even try. Just say, nigga, you was funny and keep it moving. This Came up to the, at the last show I did at Laugh Factory uh, Tuesday night. It came up to me and was like, "Oh my God, duck, you from New Orleans?" I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Man, that's crazy." I was like, "What? Why?" He was like, "My grandmother named Katrina." <laughs> what? <laughs> what that got to do? I'm confused. Like, I'm like, uh, "All right, I'm okay then." I don't know. Don't try to relate. Women seem to think because I'm from New Orleans, I like all my food cooked spicy. I don't know why. Every woman I'm in, I was messing with this one chick. Everything she cooked was spicy. I don't know why. She, there's no reason for nobody to be fixing me spicy broccoli. I don't like spicy broccoli. It, it, don't, it don't taste right to me like that. I don't know. She waking me up at 9 o'clock in the morning fixing me spicy waffles. I don't eat spicy waffles. Why is this hot? It's, it's too damn early in the morning. And then some food, and you don't my digestion track up. Talk about, but it's Cajun. Ain't no Cajun oatmeal. Half a way you're getting this shit from. Shit is terrible. She gets up there, she's butt naked. Soon as she gets on the stage, she does something amazing that I had never seen before. She starts smoking a cigarette. No, no, no. She wasn't using these lips. She was it, was, it was amazing. She was blowing circles and puffing out houses and, you know, building statues. I was like, damn! I was like, man, you gonna give some young man cancer. That's ridiculous. I've never seen nothing like that. And then I was like, we were getting ready to leave and they said, don't leave. Wait till you see what's happening next. The next person came up, it was Vladimir. He was from Russia. And he took the stage and he was like, Are you ready? Are you ready to see what Russia has for you? I was like, I'm ready. Because <laughs> he had all his clothes on. It was kind of sexy. He was like, everybody clap. And he started doing a little Russian dance. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he pulled his pants like that. He had these little tearaway joints on. Man, his thing was strapped to his leg down here. It was here. It was here, Barbara. Diamond here. What? Paris here. When he pulled this little did this dance like that and unstrapped that thing, Y'all, the thing started going crazy. I was in the back of the stage and it took three dollars out of my mother hand. That was Jalen Bishop bringing her love of comedy to the J Spot stage. And speaking of love, this first J. Anthony Brown murder hit is dedicated to a group of lovely ladies who just don't ever seem to get any song shout outs, you know? And hey, it's a spoof of more stay in the times computer love, so <laughs> you know it's about to be jamming up in here. Hit it!
Whenever the folks are D'Angelo no brown sugar Sugar I ain't playing say why You only hear songs about Chocolate legs and red bone girl No albino love Woo! Girl you know you know I really think we owe ya Owe ya Dedicated to the albino women. Put your sunblock on. Number 42. Girl, what, you know you whatever number you need, girl. Put your sunblock on it. Put your sunglasses on it. Your sun hat. Your sundress. You know y'all can't stand that sun. Get on out there and stretch your stuff, girl. Woo! Girl, you know you love. Albino love, yeah. Hey, we'll be right back after this brief commercial break. Stay tuned. Albino love, yeah. And welcome back to Live at the J-Spot, the show that brings you comedy as only the J-Spot Comedy Club can. Oh, uh, be sure to check us out online at jspotcomedyclub.com for more club info, as well as on Twitter and Facebook. I'm APT, and uh, in case you all didn't know, the A in my name stands for Aaron, which is also the first name of the next comedian coming to the stage. And uh, there's one thing you should know. It's that all Aaron's are hilarious. Uh, you don't believe me? Well, here's proof. It's Aaron Edwards, y'all. Check him out. Uh, okay, we're well, gonna get it then. All right. I don't want to be on Facebook wrong, though. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you said with, with, with my members only. Yes, you have here biting. Y'all see it? I don't care. Yes, it is members only. Yep. Yep. Oh, gee. I like that. Y'all been thinking niggas fine, it's whatever. Now I'll give you one. But we don't want to do it again. So I get paid for this. Anyway. I was telling y'all from East Saint, like, East is is it's crazy because like I'm I've been out here for about six years, but I'm still trying to get used to certain things. Like it, it's certain things I still can't get used to. Like Number one, I can't get to the fact that just because Vegas is close, that don't mean I gotta go all the time. For real, is it me? Like, if Vegas, it's a reason Vegas is still thriving, you understand me? That's because whatever it is you plan on doing, you will be defeated. You will lose. I don't care if it's gambling, you will be defeated. If you want a, a woman, whatever it is, you're gonna lose. The only fun part about Vegas is the ride up there, ain't it? Ain't that the best ride you ever been on in your life? You just be in the car high-fiving people for no reason, like, ah, we going to Vegas! Right? You be in the car, just the music up loud, I got a feeling. Tonight's gonna be a good night, right? This is the best ride you've ever been on. Do you know when you're on the 15 and you can finally see the Vegas City lights when you come down that hill? That's like a roller coaster right there. You're like, ah, it's a party, it's a party, it's a party, hey! This is the best ride you will ever take. But that ride home is a little bit different. That, it's quiet in the car. You, you're in there like, turn that music off! And blow the windows down, it's hot in here. Shouting out phrases like, all of it! Yeah, see, that's how I could tell who really kicked it in Vegas before. If you never came home and said, all of it! I spent it all, you understand me? I had to get money wired to me to get back home. I'm on the phone like, look here, player, you got $49 I can borrow from you. Gotta get on the Southwest. <laughs> I'm a, uh, you know what? I, I was gonna go to Big Lot, but they, you know, Big, big Lot, you know, but they still kind of a little expensive. I, I fucked the wrong one to this 99 cent store on Crenshaw and Century. Uh, they got clothes in that one. The one. You think I'm bullshit. I seen a pair of jeans. I said, man, I got to have it. Uh, 99 cents. You know, I, I bought them, but I, I, I wanted to try them out. So I watched them a little one time. Uh, they were pantyhose. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I'm trying to get me some money, though, man. It's beautiful, man. So all y'all family here? Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful family right here. Yeah, where y'all from? Pomona? Corona, yeah, 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 that's about 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I was in Pomona, yeah, it's nice. I did the Civic 
sitting out there a long time ago. Yeah, bro. I didn't know they had that many black people. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Shit, I know where to get the weed at next time. I'm gonna tell you. Shit. They selling that weed everywhere, ain't they? It's legal, man. You know, I stopped smoking. I, I ain't smoked weed in 15 years. I ain't nothing wrong with it. Uh, but they got some strong. I had me some of that purple kush. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Looking in the mirror, talking about, mm, uh, look at this stuff in here, uh, uh, dress just like me. <laughs> just for you. Now you all know J. Anthony Brown is a radio personality, songwriter, clothing line operator, but what I bet you didn't know is he also has his own brand of hot sauce called Hotter Than a Mofo, and that sauce also has a mascot named Mofo Man. Mofo Man. Well recently, Mofo Man went on the streets of Hollywood to give people a taste of this hot sauce, and the results were pretty funny. Now check out this video. Think what this would sound like on some chili. Put some on my Simmons. Hey, 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 you, you, yeah, you, don't touch that dial. We'll be right back after these brief messages. Don't go away. I'm watching you. What's your last name? We just call you Miss Parsons. Now, what, what is the origin of Quanisha? It is, it is indeed a beautiful name. It is a beautiful name. Her dad named her, okay. Or is it a combination of the two names? It was, he's not Quan and you not Tanisha? <laughs> Because black people, we do that. We'll jam the names together, and then we split up and wonder why the child ain't together. That's... If you dark skin, please wear dark skin makeup. Do not put on no pecan tan when your ass blue bright black. <laughs> Run around with a light skin face and a dark ass neck and sh Looking like your name Two-Tone Tanya. And if you cannot draw, get somebody else to put your makeup on for you too. 
I seen this one girl, her, make, uh, her eyebrows were so high, looked like she was saying what's up to everybody that came in the mother club. She's like, what's up, 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 what's up. People started getting mad at her, why does she keep speaking to me? And welcome back to Live at the J-Spot. I'm your host, APT. Now this past year was an election year, and since I was on Team Barack, I figured, you know, we could use a musical promo video to help this campaign out. And here's what I came up with. It's a spoof of Tiger's Rack City and, well, take a listen. Black, black president. Black, black, black president. Black, 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 black president. APT! Black president, black, black president. 1600, zero, zero, he's the resident. White House bodyguards with the hollow tips. It's the rock, better know who you messing with. Got a hot wife, muscles look super thick. Knock your lights out, you don't wanna take a hit. More change, more hope, he be selling it. Swag fresher than an old white elephant. On Letterman, late night killing it. Could campaign and campaign and then he's gonna win. Yeah. Fox News hoping that he quit. <laughs> Dummy, he ain't trying to split. Black president, black, black president. Black president, black, black president. Black president, black, black president. Re-elect, show respect for Obama tricks. Black president, black, black president. Black president, black, black president. Black president, black, black president. Re-elect, show respect for Obama tricks. He's a democratic star. star. Bulletproof tents on the car. car. Tea party makes his life so darn hard. Car. All you hippies get off his freaking Yard. He made a stop at Roscoe's. Roscoe's. Had to get some chicken and some waffles. Pronto sang out his guts at Apollo. Uh, Al Green said he sounded like a real pro. Head Negro want his seat back. seat back. White House staff stay giving dap. Giving dap. Republicans they say he's so whack. so whack. But every bill he presents they attack. Oh man, why they so mad? mad. Killed Osama, took troops out Iraq. Iraq. If he was Reagan, they'd be on his sack. sack. Politics, baby, you know how it is. Black president, black, black president. Black president, black, black president. Black president, black, black president. Re-elect, show respect for Obama trick. Black president, black, black president. Black president, black, black president. Black president, black, black president. Re-elect, show respect for Obama trick. For Obama, Obama. For Obama, Obama. For Obama, Obama. Black president, black, black president. For Obama, Obama. For Obama, Obama. For Obama, Obama. Black president, black, black president. APT 2012. Let the re election campaign begin. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Now, most of the comedians come to the J-Spot and make people laugh at their hilarious jokes and insights on life. And then, you have some comedians who get the crowd rolling simply by being their crazy selves. And this next guy, well, he's the perfect example of what I'm talking about. Skinny girl <laughs> with a little fur on. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Trying to box him with the boots on. Yes, I am. Make a rub his stomach. Look at him. I'm trying to box you. How y'all doing? What's up, girl? Oh, you don't know him? <laughs> That's how you acting for real. <laughs> That's how you gonna be? <laughs> oh, you don't know a nigga with the glasses on. <laughs> you know me now? Stop <laughs> trying to function. Look at 
Y'all shy. Y'all shy. Y'all shy. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? What's up, girl? I got a bucket. You don't realize how much gas costs when you haven't driven for a while. I came here from Studio City. You know how much gas that is? Uh, you, you ever run out of gas looking for cheaper gas? You ever do that? You're like, oh, this is too much right here. Yeah, I know they ain't going to get me different. And you, uh, I'm going to drive around a little bit more. I yeah. end up calling Triple A. Like, hey, man, I done ran out of gas looking for some cheaper gas around here. I love coming down to the hood, though, man. I, 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 I do it in like Studio City now. So coming down into the hood, you come down into real money. These real people down here, you know what I'm saying? Well, get their hustle on. You ever been like uh, pumped into giving somebody some money? Want to make you feel good about you? Like I came down, I stopped at the gas station, and one of the dudes recognized me at the gas station. He was like, yo, man, you BT, right? I'm like, yeah. He like comic dude, uh, Martin Lawrence presented. I'm like, yeah, that's me. Like God has been good to you, ain't he? I said, you know, anytime somebody said God has been good to you, you got to say yes, he has. And bless you, got nice shoes on, boy. You look good. You ain't picked up no weight. That's what I'm talking about. This is how it's supposed to be done. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud to see a black man doing something positive, making a difference, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, you know, man, well, I do what I do. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, God is what God has done for me, He'll do for you. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, I'm in a full fledged conversation with this man. You know what I'm saying? He said, yeah, man, I'm trying to do my thing. Like, hey, you try to, you got to just hang in there. Like you said, you got to pray. And at the end of the conversation, you're like, hey, man, let me hold $5. You know, <laughs> how can you tell me no after you didn't say, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even built you up. You can't tell me no, I ain't got $5. What do you mean you ain't got $5? Are God blessing you, nigga? You... <laughs> man, let me give you $5. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We have just one more segment before we go. It's a murdered hit from Anthony Brown that will leave you in stitches. <laughs> Unless you've had surgery and you already have stitches in. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Live at the J-Spot. Now, before we go, we've got another funny song spoof courtesy of Mr. J. Anthony Brown. And this one's dedicated to all the short comedians out there who are often looked down upon because they're just so very, very small. It's a parody of Kurt Franklin's smile called A Child. Oh, I dedicate the song to all the short men out there. Kevin Hart, Spike Lee, Kurt Franklin, Music Soul Child. Here we go. Ever so short. Oh, ever so short. But we are some grown men. Oh, we're some grown men. To all of the barbers who offer you booze to see stone. Somebody big takes you. And them long lines. You're waiting in long lines. If we don't stand on our toes when they measure us, we can get on can't rise. Can't get on the rise. <laughs> Department uh, store clerks uh, bring the uh, clothes to the now. junior section. Junior section, junior section. Doctors gave your grown ass lollipop. A lollipop. Don't you wish you were bigger so they wouldn't treat you like a senior? A child. Come on. Tired of being treated like a child. That's all we have time for today on behalf of Jansen Brown and the J-Spot Comedy Club. I want to thank you once again for tuning in and allowing us to make you laugh. Now remember, if you're in the Los Angeles area, we're located at 5581 West Manchester Boulevard, right near the LAX airport. You can
can also visit us online at jspotcomedyclub.com or on Twitter and Facebook for more details. I'm APT, and I'll catch you all next time live at the J-Spot. Peace.